So I'm going to be jumping all over the place in the timeline on this one, but I guess I'll just kind of start off with what led to the fight being made. Uh, obviously the fight fell apart, um, what happened to the fighter who was no longer a part of the fight, and then um, the fighter who is still on the card, or at least in theory on the card, where, where their reaction is. So right now what I'm talking about is the Kelvin Gastelum versus Anderson Silva fight, which is now turning into possibly a Yoel Romero versus Anderson Silva fight, although obviously that isn't booked. Uh, for Kelvin Gastelum, he defeated Vitor Belfort by knockout in Brazil, called out Anderson Silva, and Anderson quickly responded and took the fight. Um, Kelvin just just recently now we're finding out that Kelvin's win has been taken away from him. Obviously, the fight against Anderson t- was taken away from him after he popped for marijuana. Uh, now that win is being taken away, which I think is the most ridiculous thing ever. If you're going to try to imply that him smoking a little bit of marijuana, and again, you can't exactly prove when he did it, but let's just let's give the commission or give USADA, whoever is behind all this, let's just give him the biggest benefit of the doubt and say, sure, Kelvin just took a huge rip out of a bull right before he stepped out and knocked out Beachwar Belfort to kind of imply that that in any way helped him it seems to be kind of ridiculous, especially when you watch how fast he was throwing his punches, how fast Vitor was throwing his punches. I feel like if you're fighting a guy like Vitor, the last thing you need to do is take something like marijuana, which is going to kind of slow you down a bit and kind of make everything seem a little bit slower. That's not, that's not a good idea. If you're fighting a guy who throws punches as fast as Vitor does. And if you're going to need to be as fast as Kelvin was to beat Vitor again, that's not exactly the most helpful thing. So for him to get the win taken away is just, it's ridiculous. You'd, you'd like to see this bullshit where, whether it's just marijuana being criminalized, whether it's being illegal, whether it's being considered a performance-enhancing drug, you, at some point this shit has to go away, this shit has to get fixed, but apparently that's not 2017, so Kelvin Gaslam's out of the fight with Anderson Silva, Vitor Belfort, I guess, doesn't have a loss on his record anymore, but he still took the damage, everyone who saw the fight knows what happened. And Anderson Silva is now looking for a new opponent. Now, granted, this fight, when it was with Kelvin Gaslam, was not going to be a title fight or an interim title fight. And Anderson Silva was fine with that. Well, at this point, apparently, he's getting tired of some of the politics with the UFC. He's pissed that George St. Pierre has a title shot right now when he was told that when GSP came back, he'd get a fight with GSP. So for GSP to get a title shot instead of him, and for GSP to be making getting a fight that isn't against him, both of those things bother him. So he's now saying that if the fight with Yoel Romero that's being proposed, if that is not an interim title fight, then he is just going to retire. So a couple things to get uh, to touch on right here. First off, the talk with GSP, where he's saying the UFC crossed him and saying that they were going to give him the fight with GSP, and now GSP is not fighting him. I don't believe that that's actually an issue where the UFC lied necessarily. I think there's a very good reason to suspect that the UFC wanted that fight. But you have to remember, GSP wasn't exactly... I, I guess technically he was under contract to an extent, but it's not like he was in a position where he just had to take whatever they gave him. They were renegotiating, and GSP, it would appear, given the fact that nobody seems excited about the fight with Bisping, that GSP, in order for him to come back, negotiated the fight against Bisping, and then the UFC decided, hey, well, we do want GSP back. Yes, he is a big draw for us. So within this specific negotiation, we're going to have to give him that fight, and that was independent of what they had told Anderson Silva. And obviously they're not going to be like, well, shit, we'd love to have GSP back, but we did once tell Anderson Silva that he'd get the fight with GSP. And so we've either got to, we, we either have to choose between not misleading Anderson Silva or not having GSP back. I mean, if that's where they're at, they're obviously going to say, okay, fine. We'll mislead Anderson. Silva. we'll take GSP back. We'll give him his title shot immediately. And we'll kind of work from there. So I, I don't know that he can really be all that upset with that. Obviously you'd like to see what they tell you come true, but this is a business where things change all the time. So I don't know that he can really hold that against them. Um, as far as the, the call for a title fight, that sounds more like it's just kind of like a negotiating ploy. I don't know that he cares all that much about getting the interim title shot as much as it's like, shit, if you're going to do all this crap to me, you better give me something in return. And he's just asking for that strap to be available at the end of the night as something in return for him. But, and again, I I don't know how his contract structured either. Obviously when titles are being contested, there's pay-per-view points involved. You'd figure that Anderson Silva being who he is would be getting pay-per-view points, even if he's not fighting for the title, but Maybe that's why he really wants to have the belt involved, so he can get a little bit more, a little bit of extra money. But either way, it the Dana White responded and said he wasn't going to put the interim title up for that. So f- from here, I guess he's calling Anderson's bluff. Do I think Anderson Silva is going to retire at this point? I mean, I don't know. He's got the money too if he wanted to. He's coming off of a win, so it'd be one thing if he just had had just recently lost and 
was at a point where it's like, yeah, I, I'm tired of this bullshit, but I want to end on a win. But at this point, he's got the win. Um, unless he, th- I don't even know that he wants to be like a long reigning champion again. It just seems like he's been fighting out of enjoyment. And if he's not enjoying it anymore, it's actually plausible that he could retire. But again, sort of like with GSP, where they had to bend to get him back, I feel like Anderson Silva is the same type of thing, especially with as big as he is in Brazil, that if the UFC has to bend somewhere to get him back, they'll probably do it, whether or not it's in regards to that Brazil card or whether they have to bring him back later on, I'm not sure. But I don't don't suspect that this will be the end of Anderson Silva's career.